Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Nocturne, the Eternal Nightmare. This here is Nocturne's actual model. The rest of the spotlight contains work-in-progress footage of Nocturne's model, particles, icons, and sounds. His gameplay is exactly the same. Nocturne's passive is Umbra Blades. Every few seconds, Nocturne's basic attack will deal bonus damage, splash, and heal himself based on the number of enemies hit. This ability prepares more quickly as Nocturne attacks. Duskbringer shoots out a line nuke, leaving a trail behind it. Enemy champions hit by the nuke will also leave this trail behind them as they move. While on the trail, Nocturne gains bonus damage, move speed, and can pass through other units. Shroud of Darkness passively gives Nocturne bonus attack speed. On activate, he creates a spell shield on himself for a few seconds. If it successfully blocks a spell, his passive attack speed bonus is doubled for a few seconds. Unspeakable Horror tethers to target enemy, dealing damage over time. If the tether is not broken, the target becomes feared. Paranoia is Nocturne's ultimate. On activate, all enemy champions lose sight of allied minions, turrets, and each other. Enemy champions can only see units in their own vision range. Nocturne can then reactivate the ability to quickly travel to an enemy champion, dealing damage when he arrives. I play Nocturne as a jungler. His jungle speed and ganking potential are very strong. Nocturne is a natural ganker. Open up with Duskbringer to close the gap. I use Shroud of Darkness to block Nunu's Ice Blast, while Unspeakable Horror triggers keeping him in range longer. When he flashes away, I keep up with Ghost, taking the kill with Duskbringer. If your opponents see you coming, make sure not to miss Duskbringer. Here I lead with Unspeakable Horror, only shooting Duskbringer once Twisted Fate stuns Caitlyn. Nocturne has great synergy with Twisted Fate. Once you're preparing to gank, call for his help. With your enemies unable to even see your allies coming, you're guaranteed a kill. One great thing about Nocturne is that his abilities all work defensively as well. As I get caught by Nunu and Caitlyn, I run with Duskbringer and block Ice Blast with Shroud of Darkness. I wait on Unspeakable Horror for when Twisted Fate shows up. As Nunu tries to escape, Duskbringer and Ghost allow me a kill while chasing. Afterwards, I chase down Caitlyn as soon as possible. With Duskbringer and the Lizard buff, only her teammates can save her. Thankfully, I predict her movement into the jungle and kill her with Duskbringer. With my team's help, I even escape my enemies. As an assassin, you want to be constantly ganking for your teammates. A tank like Maokai won't die to just Shen and Blitzcrank, so always make yourself available. Again, make sure you'll hit your enemy with Duskbringer to ensure maximum damage. Afterwards, Unspeakable Horror keeps your foe in place. Sometimes urgency calls upon your ultimate. Always look for a gank in action. Use Paranoia and hop in there, making sure to always use Unspeakable Horror to lock up your target. Paranoia has a few really fun, subtle uses as well. Because it moves you, you can escape abilities like Nunu's Absolute Zero. Because it deals damage, you can sneak kills on targets like Kale. Because she loses all allied vision, she doesn't know I'm coming for her until it's too late. Nocturne is an especially adept duelist. Here I fight Cassidy using all my abilities as best I can. Most key is my timing on Paranoia. Remember that it doesn't reveal your enemies, so you have to be ready to use it early enough. Here I last hit Cassidy with it, but I would also be able to just barely chase him over the wall if he were to Riftwalk in time. Sometimes Paranoia is simply an in-battle blink. I jump in on Nunu using Unspeakable Horror to cancel Absolute Zero. After he falls, I notice Shen has taunted Kale. Immediately, I use Paranoia to jump on him. I drop her from half health with just Paranoia and Umbra Blades. We follow up on Caitlyn easily afterwards. As a jungler, I take Armor Penetration Marks, Flat Armor Seals, Attack Speed Glyphs, and Armor Penetration Quintessences. I take 2109 Masteries, focusing on improved neutral buff durations while taking Smite and Ghost. Take your first point in Shroud of Darkness, and then Max Duskbringer. Take Unspeakable Horror and Paranoia when you can. 
For items, start with a cloth armor and a few health potions. Upgrade Durgle's Lantern and take Mercury Treads. Yomu's Ghost Blade and Black Cleaver will cover most of your damage needs, while you build Banshee's Veil and Guardian Angel as tank items. You can finally trade in Riggles for a Bloodthirster if you want at the end. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel by clicking the box in this video. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in to the Nocturne Champion Spotlight. Go sow the seeds of Havoc, Summoners!